to uh, you know make some plays. Obviously, we struggled shooting. Um, you know, beyond the argument, we made, we made a couple threes um, you know, late in the game. I thought it was good. AJ was able to establish himself, and make some plays in the basket. But going down the stretch, you know, getting stops, getting long rebounds, you know, things rolling around and knocking those six free throws down at the end, um, it was a big for us. Obviously, wanted this team to be a much better shooting team this year. When it came down to the last couple of minutes, it was making a couple of big threes. And Obviously, making free throws at the end. I mean, yeah, that's uh, pretty satisfying. For, you know, for us, we, we had that stretch in the first half where we took three straight perimeter shots, and two of those shots, AJ Hammonds has them guy on his back, and our guys don't keep the basketball. And we got to do a better job of getting him the basketball in there and making the defense, you know, sink a little bit. But um, when we get in the walls where we go too long with the ball and get into the paint, whether we're driving it or throwing it in the post, and so we, we have to do a better job uh, with that. But as long as we shoot really three, I'm fine with it, but he needs to get, you know, a touch or we need to get a drive and, you know, get the paint. When you did get the ball inside, you know, obviously A.J. had a nice night, and Jay also, uh, yeah. again, you know, even when A.J. got that third foul, I think you know, Jay got that basket after that, and had it, right. just like Nebraska kind of kept it going. Yeah, it really helps us, you know, just having an inside presence, and obviously, in the game, and so when you sub a guy out like A.J. Hammonds, and then, you know, Jay's you know, played quality minutes in the past you know, two games, and that's, you know, that's huge for him just to build some confidence as a young guy, as a freshman. You know, playing is you know, really is his first run in big team game. So uh, you know, we just have to continue to be consistent, even though I, I think we miss them a lot. Um, you know, anytime you have guys like that, you've got to make the defense aware of them and they need to get as many touches as possible. You said before you're you're okay with them taking good threes when they're good threes. Were you, were you getting better threes in the second half? Because you were 1 of 11 in the first and 3 of 8 in the second. I, I don't I have to watch the tape. I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's difficult when it plays away from you. Obviously, like the first half offensively, but you know, the second half defensively. So, um, you know, you have to watch. I, I thought we had a stretch in the first half where we took some poor threes. And, um, it, it also depends on who it is. You know, Kendall Stevens is a good rhythm shooter, and uh, we need to probably get him more touches than some, other, some of the other guys. Rice came out um, fairly healthy early. He had 10 points in the first half. Did you guys change anything on him in the second half? Because he had one in the second half. Not really. I mean, we tried to stay, um, just keep the ball in front of us. We tried to keep him off his right hand and keep him in the middle of the court. I don't know how successful we were at that. Um, I just had to watch tape and kind of see. We really didn't want him to work downhill going to his right. He's very, very dangerous. Not to say that he's not effective going the other way because he is, but he's, just, he's not as effective. And so we, we, we tried to work um, you know, towards that. But you know, sometimes it works for us. Sometimes it's into the course of the game. Sometimes guys don't get their shots. Um, and she's one of them. He has anything to do with our defense. Um, it, it just kind of happens. How big was it to get this win on the road? So close. Well, it was huge for us. You know, we're a young team. There's a lot of similarities between these two teams. And so for us to be able to get uh, this win, we were able to, right before Christmas, win at West Virginia. It was a hostile environment. This is obviously one of the best environments in the country. And so for our guys to be able to kind of hang tough and grind it out and, you know, make some free throws at the end and you know, hopefully really help our confidence. We, we've struggled, you know, shooting, you know, shooting free throws, especially late in games. So we did a night against Nebraska, and so tonight to be able to do that, you know, hopefully give our guys some confidence, especially around the tournament. Uh, yeah, we, uh, Coach just uh, pretty much stressed it uh, at halftime that we were not scoring on the outside, so we just had to get the ball in off the drive, just get into the basket, you know, the best meet, uh, meet to the track. Just to be able to, uh, have a game in the glass, as much as we did, it was a pretty, uh, pretty wide market. Uh, we was just doing, Coach just told us that man, I get a lot of offensive rebounds, so we just had to keep hitting. I was trying to box my man out, and luckily Basil and uh, Eric Page was just finding him every rebound that I couldn't get to. Just talking about the final two minutes, you had a bucket inside, then a block, a partial block down on the defensive end. How, how big were those two plays? Oh, that was that was really good. We needed that. We needed to get a little uh, quick little hype. But now, uh, just going down that score the ball, I didn't, I had kind of lost a good shot back up. Then the ball shot to try to stay into the ball. I thought he was going to pass it, but it went over. What's going through your head in those four minutes? Do you guys have a, what, three and five point that you're trying to hold on? Uh, just pretty much just get stopped. And then uh, if you get a chance to just hold the ball, then you get a quick score. How big was it on the night where you guys struggled from three to just find a way to get a win any way you could? Uh, uh, how uh, do you say it? Yeah, he just got a little bit of foul trouble. Hey, you got uh, he just got to a little bit of foul trouble, and I see that he wasn't trying to breathe by my shot, so I just coached him just to keep attacking. And I had Jay just tell me just to keep attacking. And I was like, I kind of got me high, so I just kept going. You guys only get a pretty big advantage Uh Not really. Uh, it was kind of hard to post up. He just kept pushing me, and then uh, the other bit of came in, kept pushing me. They pushed me out the 
block a little bit in the first half, and I just coach just kept telling me to get a deep post up. So I just had to fight it's you guys were frustrating listening to the second half. It was frustrating. Uh, the last, the one I picked up, the last one before the coach had me out, I wasn't ready. Like, he kind of just pushed me and took me, and my hands were down, so I didn't know what to do. So I just, I just, yeah. the coach was tossing me off the bench. Hey man, it's a great feeling. I thought everyone showed us. We just need games like that. We're looking at the camera. 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 It's like a much more confident team that you guys have had a couple games that you just seem more confident. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, everybody just brought intensity, we stayed composed when, uh, you know, they took the lead and came out half time and relaxed. You know, we just kept fighting, getting defense stops. One for your first 11 from beyond the arc, but you guys found a way down the stretch to get the win. Just how, how big is that? I mean, it's, this is really big. I thought, uh, you said 111 from? In the first half from three. Ah, uh, definitely. We just couldn't put it in the basket the first half. We came out and uh, came to the week, kept shooting, and uh, you know, finally made his way in the basket. 6 0 run there at one point. You hit a three, and then Kendall hit a three in the corner. Just That was a big stretch. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it would probably be a dagger in the game. Uh, you know, those were big shots. And uh, Kendall, you know, I pass that uh, to him every single time. After that, AJ Hammond's bucket inside, block at the other end. That, that was key for you guys, too? Definitely, definitely. I mean, AJ came to play tonight, and, you know, we need him to score that the play every time he gets it. Good. Can you just walk us to the play where uh, you hit Kendall in the corner for that three? Were you trying to set that up, or did you just kind of see him in the last second? Kind of that well, uh, I used the ball screen. Uh, then, uh, I kind of drove it a little bit to get a little deep, see if I can make that shot, make a floater, and then uh, I saw Kendall. Jay, Coach said this was the best rebounding <laughs> performance for the whole team this season. Um, how instrumental were they in that? Uh, they were huge. You know, we were prepared for uh, Illinois. We knew that they were the best offensive rebounding team in the league, and uh, we prepared like that in practice. And uh, you know, of course, uh, Jay and uh, AJ took it to heart. What Coach was saying as far as um, getting the body on, and the whole team did a great job. Um, paid off. It was 23 to 7. You got rebounded in the second half. Did you notice a different tone out there in the second half as far as the that, that, that level again? Definitely. You know, we ended the first half last three minutes uh, not the way that we wanted to. And we knew that you know, the first four minutes we must set the tone for the rest of the game. And uh, we came out ready to play. And it was a great long run. The fearlessness you guys showed in shooting three in the first half didn't go so well. A little better in the second half. We obviously weren't, weren't shy about shooting there at the end, too. Um, yeah, you know, coach wants me to uh, take over shots, uh, rhythm shots. And, uh, uh, that Ronnie hit right before that? Did that give you any extra confidence to put the one up that you did from the corner? Uh, yeah, you know, when other people are playing better, you know, it obviously gives you confidence to play better too. Uh, it was a great team win. Can you just um, walk us through that play from your perspective before you hit there at the end? Uh, it was, it did you was, kind of uh, see the play developing, or did the ball just just kind of find you? Um, it was really we just in motion. Ryan made a good play to get to the lane, and uh, you know, I just slid down towards the baseline, just gave my option for an outlet, and the guy was off me a little bit. And, uh, I was able to make a shot. It was, it was a great pass, it was a great ball move. You know, we did a great job moving the ball in the second half. You were one of you were one of eleven from three in the first half as a team. Just how big was it to work the ball inside and, and then that opened things up? Yeah, yeah. Coach Payne just says, you know, this game's where you know, the shots not falling. We were going to make shots um, in the second half, but uh, we just had to be patient, go through AJ and J, and then uh, let everything else take care of itself. How much?